Hello and welcome back to the channel today. <laughs> the day is finally here. We got our unlock PCM and our tuning from Diablo Sport. We're gonna be installing that today. Process is a little bit different with the 2019 Dodge Chargers. We're gonna show you everything, all the steps from start to finish for installing the PCM swap and the tuning. You actually gotta pull the stock file before you do the actual PCM swap. So I'm gonna go through that. We're gonna do the complete unboxing as quick as possible. Just to update, we got our tires after the tire saga. The tire saga is officially over. We went with our Nittos. We went the P275s in the back and the P245s in the front, which is the stock tire, basically it's the stock size. But these Nitto 555 G2s, very, very nice. They hook up very nice. We have no uh, traction loss or anything like that when we're getting on it. I'm very, very happy with it. And I'm gonna show you after we get the tuning installed, like I promised you. So let's go inside and do this unboxing. When you get your package from Diablo Sport, depending on what you opt for, we opt for the Trinity T2, this guy right here. This is what your PCM is going to look like. It basically looks like a stock PCM, but it is unlocked. It is specific to your vehicle. So when you are purchasing this from Diablo Sport, you're going to need the calibration ID, which is off the back of the PCM and your VIN number. They're going to need that to send you the unlock PCM, or you can opt for their swap program that they have where you actually physically take your stock PCM out of your vehicle and send it to them in the mail and they'll unlock it and then send it back to you. I like to have the stock PCM. Even though you do uh, keep your stock PCM, if you do decide to do that, the dealership will be able to tell that you have tampered with it or swapped it out at some point because uh, there is an indicator on the BCM that they can see. So just keep that in mind. When you get your package, it's gonna come with some detailed instructions on how to go through the process. You're gonna open it up, it's gonna look like this. Very really nice uh, instruction packet with all kinds of different goodies, the owner's manual. To do this installation too, we need to install the security bypass. And our security bypass is the type B, which is this one. This one right here is the simplest one to do the installation, but we're gonna show you, it's very simple. But you have to install the security bypass before you can proceed with any type of tuning on these Dodge chargers or Ram trucks, because guess what? We got tuning coming for the Bell. I'm gonna do something real quick because it comes with this cool Diablo sticker. I'm gonna put this sticker right on the PCM so we know that this one is special. There you go. We know that this PCM is special thanks to Diablo Sport. And then inside here you got your, your actual monitor, your T2 which I, I don't know, I think it looks more like a cell phone. It's actually very nice, it's thin. It's similar to Edge. I mean, it's owned by the same company. And then inside the box, here's your bypass, your security bypass cable right here, okay? Here's your cable that's gonna plug into your security bypass once you get that installed and plug into your T2 monitor. And here's your update cable. It's a USB update cable, which is going to plug into your T2 monitor. It's very important to make sure that your unit is updated before you begin any type of installation. So we're going to update that first with the software provided by Diablo Sport before we even begin this installation of the security bypass. It's a safe thing to do because newer vehicles, sometimes they have changes and stuff with the with the firmware and you, you just, you gotta, gotta make sure that that stuff's up to date. And do a little suction cup for your T2 monitor. Very nicely packaged, we'll see how the tuning installs. But very familiar with Edge and uh, I, I've done some Diablo Sports stuff way back in the day. I'm doing this on a weekend when they're not open, so it's probably not the best idea to do because if you do run into an issue, you're not gonna have any support, so you're basically gonna have to stop and wait until the next business day. But I have total faith and confidence in Diablo Sport. Okay, we have our update agent 1.1 loaded. We're gonna plug the USB in. We got the USB cable plugged into the actual T2 monitor. It's lighting up the monitor here. It's connecting. Looks like it's loading the drivers for the USB. Device is ready. 
and then now it's checking for updates. It's that simple. And look, it says there's updates available. So we are going to, yes, we want to install the updates. Again, guys, like I said, stuff's always changing. It's a 2019, so it's a newer car. We don't know how long this, this actual monitor has been sitting uh, on a shelf somewhere. So it's always important to update that. But the process is very, very simple. You download Update Agent 1.1. You plug the USB cable into your T2 monitor. It installs the drivers onto your PC. And then everything else, it, it does everything else for you. It's very simple. This one right here, can't wait to have tuning in her Ram Rebel. That's right. We have it here, guys. It's going to be coming soon. It's heartbreaking to know that it's here. I had this tuning sitting in a box at home for so long. I just hadn't had the time to install it. So here it is. It's, I'm guys. Hashtag ladies first. Nope. Your truck just got ceramic coated. It got a lot of love. I need some tuning though. It's coming. It's coming. Mm. It needs to it's go coming. along with my Corsa. Yeah. A little update. It's saying your update is now being installed. Please follow the instructions on your display. And yep. it's going through that. I mean, this is a great option. If you don't have anyone locally to tune your vehicles, basically tuning at home. It's great. All right, so the device is saying that the update's been installed. Please press continue to reboot. We're gonna do that. Hey, you paying attention? You're gonna have to do all this for the RAM. I'm just gonna sit there and film you. I, uh, I got directions. <laughs> You're gonna watch the video? What normal people do. You're gonna watch the Beast Projects video? Yeah, I'll go to YouTube, pull up a video on it. Yours. It looks like the device has restarted. And it's complete. Cool. We got that. Alright, so we are done. It's, the device has been updated, so now we can go and install our security bypass cable, and then we can install this and pull the stock data file from the PCM. And make sure you remove it safely. Don't just yank the cable out and blow your port. So, all right, let's go install this. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited, Heather. You excited, Maze? No, she, she said she'd rather build it done. No, she just wants to go outside and hang out with you. No, nope, team girls first. Nope. Make sure you watch this video and you can do this install. I'll... I've already liked, subscribed, and hit the notification bell. <laughs> Make sure you guys are doing that. We're getting ready to install the security bypass cable. Again, this is the Type B. You're gonna remove this kick panel right here. As you can see, there's three push lock fittings right here. These plastic push pins. There's three of them. You're gonna pop those guys out and the whole panel will come down. How, how did you get it? This is what happens when you do installs at home. Little, little Maisie's come find you. Heather, your dog's down here. Now here's gonna be the fun part. I wanna film this, but I don't know if I can get underneath there and film it. Let's see. The mister was like, Hetty, I might need your help. This bank, I can't see it. See if your little hands could get in there. Let me show you what I did. I grabbed the trusty cell phone. I put it on camera and I put it on the front camera. So hopefully you're smart like me. You're gonna use the cell phone front facing camera. You're gonna use that to kind of see where your green bank is. There's your green bank. We're gonna put it in this last hole over here. And you're gonna use the white star connector. You're not gonna use the green star connector. Yes, you're going to use this white star connector, not the green one. Green does not mean go in this case. White means go. Look, everyone gets to see your face. I know. Ugh, my tongue's out because that's what I do when I concentrate. <laughs> As you can see now, that white star plug is now in that last spot there on that green bank. Back to you, Smitty. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fish the OBD2 pass through port over to the OBD port on the driver's side. OBD, OBD. And actually, I'm still going to use you. I'm still gonna use your Mishimoto. Come Why? on. Cause I'm so amazing. Can you go to the passenger, the driver's side, I'll fish it over to you.
Anything yet? Uh-uh. What? Can you show me what it is that you're fishing through? A big ass black cable. Got it. Got it? Yeah. All right, just pull it slowly. The end's gonna be bigger. It's gonna be like what plugs into the OB, OBD. OBD too, I got yeah. it. You got it? Yeah. All right, pull it and make it tight, but do it slow. Oh my gosh, we got it. Two person job, but we got it. All right, go ahead and pull it slow, babe. And we'll, we'll tighten up the slack. Actually, just pull it to the OBD2 port. I'll zip tie the slack over here and just put it behind the... It's plugged in. It's plugged in? Yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna zip tie this. I'll make a loop. We'll make a service loop. So if we have to move it a little bit in the future, so it's, you know, we got a little bit of play, but then we'll just hide everything nicely behind the kick panel. But. For the person that you are fishing it to, it's actually a lot closer, or at least for us, it was a lot closer towards the, like the back. So like, sure. it was actually closer, where's my finger? To being up here. So it's kind of closer towards the console. I thought it was gonna be further back. It wasn't. And I just pulled it through. And I plugged it in right there. He didn't even tell me where to plug it in at. Well, he did, but I didn't know what that thing was. But I matched the holes up. I always think something's gonna be harder than it is, but that was relatively easy. That nah, was easy. This B-type bypass is very easy to install. Might be able to do a uh, bell by myself. Bell is a little different. Bell's not a B. Bell is gonna be, uh, I think it's gonna be similar to the Jeep. Now we can pull our stock file off the PCM with our security bypass cable installed. All right, now with our security bypass cable installed, we're gonna we're gonna install our Trinity 2T monitor with the supply cable. I'm gonna put this in here loosely for now, but we may make it look nice, nice in a little bit. Plug our Trinity 2 harness in into the security bypass. We are going to install our suction cup mount. We are gonna connect our cable. It's almost like, well, it's basically an HDMI cable that plugs into your security bypass into your OBD2 port. Then we're gonna mount this. Now put it in run mode, okay. Factory data retrieve, please install unlock PCM or contact customer service. Continue. Perfect. All right, so it got the data off our factory PCM. So now we can pull the PCM. Before we install the unlock PCM, we are gonna disconnect the negative battery terminal in the trunk. That's what the handle's good for. <laughs> back out in the engine compartment to remove the stock PCM. Basically, you got these push clips. You got one here, two, three, four, and I, I think I went to here last time and I had to pop this out to get the calibration ID off the PCM. You don't have to get crazy, you don't have to remove the whole cowl, you just gotta pull up this side, and then you pull out the cabin filter and your PCM's right down in there. Now with the cow lifted up guys, we're going to remove this PCM bracket to pull the PCM out. It's a 13 mil. The bolts actually holding the PCM to this bracket are 10 mil. That bolt removed, we can pull the PCM up and unplug it. This is tan. They're actually color coded, so you really can't screw this up when you're plugging it back in. Right here, you gotta push down on that first, and then you pull the lever up, and then it actually pushes the plug harness out of the PCM as you do it. We're gonna remove this bracket off this PCM, the stock PCM, and put it onto our unlocked PCM. And all it is is these two 10 millimeter bolts. Forgot to mention, you'll see there's like this little rubber bumper here. 
I'm reinserting it into your unlocked Diablo Sport PCM. This is something that you guys can do at home on your weekend, after work one day. I mean, I've been working on it for about 30 minutes and uh, it's very smooth. I'm just trying to be as detailed as I can in videoing this. So, cause I, there's actually, I didn't see any videos for 2019 chargers on YouTube. So hopefully you guys will learn something from this. If you have a 2019 charger and you're looking to do some tuning, you know, I, this is gonna be a full blown tutorial installation. To line up the best you can. And you're gonna have to push the cow back as you're doing it. It's, <laughs> it takes a little bit guys, but be patient. You'll get it, you'll get it. Bottom, bottom one's in. We're all locked in. This 13 millimeter bolt back in. Cowl back down in this, this position. Put our cabin air filter back in. Still very clean, it should be. This car's only got 3,000 miles on it. Just gonna push our, our push clips back in. I didn't have to remove the whole entire cowl. Simple, we just went to here. Not a big deal. There are clips in there, as you can see. Just make sure they're seated back down into position. Otherwise, you'll have stuff falling down off your windshield behind your cow. And they're all locked in. There's actually push clips in there. Oh man. Head, are you ready? It's almost time for tunes. Spare tires? Optional. <laughs> uh, things you learn. Now, with the PCM installed, the battery reconnected. This is part of the PCM relearn process. We are gonna put the vehicle in the run position and count to five without touching the brakes. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna turn it back off. Jump right into tuning. We're gonna to go to tune vehicle. I thought Diablo had a 91. I thought they had a 93. Looks like it's loading the PCM's original backup data. Turn ignition off. Hit continue. I mean, loading tunes is very easy. <laughs> Just like any other vehicles, put it back in the run. You're not going to start the vehicle. Continue. Now it's exporting the file. TCM original backup reading. All right, we'll be back. We're loading the, the 91 octane tune. I didn't see an option for 93 octane tube. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load this tune, see how it does. Ignition off. I specifically, you know, I already run 93 octane in this car and I, that's the tune I wanted. Turn it back to run. Back off. Do not start the engine. There's just a lot of back and forth when it's actually installing the tune. So, I'll be back to you in a few. Right now it's modifying the stock TCM tune. You're gonna see a lot of crazy things happen inside the car while it's doing it. Don't panic, it's normal. It's normal for all this to flash and for that to come on and then you're gonna have lights going crazy until you're done installing the tune. All right, we're gonna turn ignition off and we're gonna hit the screen again. And we're gonna turn it back to run. Again, like I said, this is a lot of back and forth with this, guys. Just be patient. I think it takes longer to install the tune than it does to install the bypass. All right, we are tuned.
Yes, buddy! Finally tuned! You know, I said I wasn't gonna make this nicey, nicey, neat, neat, neat. I'm gonna do that. So, all I did was pull the weather stripping out, similar to how I did in the Ram. Unlike the Ram, there is no room to hide any wiring in there. So, uh, once you get that pulled out, you can get your hands on the other side of this to pry this out. And as you can see, there's only push clips holding this panel in. So we're gonna put that back in shortly. Basically zip tied, you know, we looped up the wire, zip tied them together, the excess wiring. And it's actually just sitting nice and tightly underneath this kick panel over here. So if we ever have to remove it, it's simple. But that's what it looks like, guys. Okay, when you're lining this back up, make sure you line that tab underneath there and again like I said it's just push clips you gonna get them lined up and then you're just gonna push them right back in and this weather stripping right there the missus and I are gonna take the car out for a little test drive give me an update on the tires and we are running the 91 octane tune you ready I'm ready wait oh, I'm gonna on. hand the camera oh, oh. chapstick's yeah. a must Gauge layout is pretty nice. I haven't had a chance to really mess with it. Well, actually, it's the first time I ever got it to load. This is the first maiden voyage, first test drive with the Diablo Sport tuning. I can tell you we're not going 56 miles per hour. No, it's we're going to send 25. Oh, uh, what's that thing at the top? That? No, other side. The map sensor. Oh, never mind, okay. It seems a little bit more um, crackly. The exhaust, uh, you yeah, that? totally hearing that. And we're only we're, we're putzing. I'm gonna go down on some private back roads. Whoa! Jesus! <laughs> All right, so um, <laughs> noticeable difference, believe it or not, um, in the '91 tune, and uh, <laughs> that almost fells. Well, we're in track mode too, so track mode even makes it makes it even more snappier but yeah there is a noticeable difference just on the 92 91 tune i gotta get that 93 tune i can't wait to see what that feels like come on the car wants to go i didn't know that you could put used oil and dead batteries over there what the heck would the amish do with dead batteries uh they recycle them and get money for it oh. that's why you have to pay a core for a battery yeah it's definitely um lunch year yes the throttle response is very noticeable. And this tire's hook. Like if we, if we saw the good years, we would have definitely been squealing back there. Yeah, it just immediately, yeah. I'm barely getting on it, guys. The shift points are better. Wow, Hetty. The shift points are better and everything. Like there was like a big delay stock with the stock PCM and stock tuning when you were just like putzing. Now it just wants to, like yeah. <laughs> instantly, instantly when you just give it a little bit of throttle, it wants to go. There's no the there's no hesitation in the, the shifts. You uh, <laughs> you might need to um, edit some of your shifts points <laughs> because there for a second I thought you were saying something else. Ah, uh, it's all right. Yeah, noticeable difference. I love these tires. This thing hooks. It's right for the track, man. You can feel those tires grabbing back. Yes. <laughs> yes, this car sounds so it needs a Corsa. It needs a Corsa in its life. Yeah, it does. Oh my gosh. These tires hook though, man. Nitto 555G2s. Yes, Chris wants to race. You wanna race? <laughs> feel that hook. Boom. Like, dude. <laughs> Getting a neck workout on this one. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, you definitely notice the difference. <laughs> Dude, I can't, I, I can't wait to do the tuning in the Rebel. I, I'm going to be honest with you, because the, the, the Rebel without the Pulsar is a complete dog. I'm curious to see what the tuning does. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate all the support. Everyone that's purchasing their AMS oil from us, checking out our website, allbeastprojects.com or rambeastprojects.com. Both take you to the same place. 
and getting your merch and supporting all the companies that support us. We, we greatly appreciate it. We would never ask you to send us a monthly donation like some other channels. We just want to get back to you guys. That's what we do. And we'll never ask you for money. Things that we tell you about benefits you and it also benefits us too. So we can continue bringing this cool content to you. We appreciate all of you. So I got back home, did a little bit of research. The Diablo tune is their 93 octane tune. So I loaded that tune. We are good to go. Everything's working just fine. And I got to mess around with the gauges a little bit. There are so many different PIDs that you can load. Um, so many different gauge layouts, backgrounds. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and explain it all to you. You just got to go in there and go hands on. It can be time consuming. The video would be probably like 80 minutes long with all the options that you could do to adjust that screen to make it fit wherever you guys want to do. Definitely uh, very nice. The, I've had the T1 Trinity, the, the first original Trinity. It's definitely much better than the original T1. All right, guys, that's going to put a wrap to today's video. Finally got the tuning installed and our 2019 Dodge Charger Gaston. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're stopped by for the first time, make sure you smash tap, do something to that subscribe button. Kylie felt left out, so we gave her a stool because, well, she's the littlest one in the bunch. Do. And don't worry about these this hair situation. I mean, that, <laughs> this, this is what you got to deal with when you live with a whole bunch of girls. I mean, this, this kind of stuff right here. Ding, ding. I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> we love you guys. We will see you on the next upload. Would you have been able to do it without me? Yeah, I would have, but it just makes it a lot easier. All lies wouldn't have been able to do it without me. I just cleaned the entire downstairs. I lit. Oh, Kendall's laughing at me. I lit fall candles and um somebody hmm, did this hmm. that's not good is it <laughs> even the dog has learned her place that mess is he who sits here Nothing over there. Nothing here. Mm. Mm. It's not going to be a very home sweet home if he who sits here does <laughs> not clean up his mess. We'll see if there's another video. If there is, he cleaned his mess up. If not, RIP Mr. Beast. Oh, show everybody how pretty you look. Cause you got, you got your nails did yesterday. You got your teeth brushed. You got your ears done. You went to the spa, huh?